God bless y'all. Got some Louisiana seafood boil and some Creole seasoning by Louisiana. This is gold. Let's go look at these here crisps. All right, y'all. So we done separated all of the dead crawfish from the live ones. And now it's time to purge. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need you a little bit of salt and we just gonna shake it all over these babies. See how excited they get? You ain't gonna kill them, I promise. They like salt. They're accustomed to it, okay? And all we're doing here is I just let, make some spit up any type of dirt or nastiness that might be in their mouths or anything like that. And then we're gonna rinse them off and that's gonna be time for us to boil. Now it's time to take them and put them, we're gonna measure for how much water we need. I'm just like messing with them. They be flickering, look at them. <laughs> Into our pot. We're gonna measure them for how much water we need. We don't have a crawfish line. Now we're getting my pot ready. We like shoes. So handsome. All right. So it's a beautiful spring day, but don't be deceived. It's chilly out here. You definitely ain't on no bayou, but. I got to buy you some crawfish. <laughs> All right. So now, like I said, we're just checking our water level. Never really bought um, eight pounds of crawfish before. So we just gonna make sure we got enough water in our pot. There she be. Look at them critters down in there. You ready for your first crawfish bowl? <laughs> All right, now listen. The first and most important step about any good boil, whether it's crawfish, shrimp, crab, etc., is the way that it tastes, y'all. So I have a couple of different seasonings here. This is the Old Bay. Oh, it's right behind the vinegar. That's the Old Bay. First, they see real brown stuff right here. What is that? Old Bay. Old Bay. I got some new bays over here. This is the old bays that we had growing up. <laughs> they trying to bring the new bay in. I think actually 1889. I don't remember when Old Bay was created, but some of these are real old. Zadaran's 1889. So it might be the older bay of the two. So we got our three seasonings here. We got Punch Your Daddy. LA Crawfish, Louisiana Crawfish Company. Um, not really sure where they're from. Not some with an N. And then Old Bay seasoning is from right here in Maryland, out of Chesapeake Bay, city of Baltimore. We are gonna try all of them. Cause every season, every seafood boil seasoning or Cajun seasoning or anything for seafood always got a little bit different taste. We're gonna get Bay to come in here and let us know what he thinks. Which one you taste in first, baby? Uh, punch your dad. All right, punch your dad. He's gonna lick his finger and dip it in there. The heat, a little spice comes in, like, as you taste it. Sort of keeps going. It's not at first, but like right now, I can really taste the uh, yeah all the flavor. It's like a delayed effect. 
which I think kind of give it like represent the name a little bit because like when you get punched like it kind of hurts but the more you go it just starts swelling and throbbing I said it's punch all right next you're gonna do <laughs> That's got a lot of flavor. And it's not spicy, but it's like really a bunch of flavor to hit you like right away. So, the Punch of Daddy's, the delayed of that, what's this, the seafood boil? That hits you right away. It's really good and flavorful. Now you gonna taste, you know, his old bay. Taste the melon right here. I mean, what more can I say? It's perfect. <laughs> it's a t classic taste of Maryland. I usually put this on my crabs when I'm steaming them. You can put the messy boils. So it's got a salty taste to it, but not too salty. Perfect amount of seasoning. It's really good. So that's your favorite. If you rank them one to three, point to them and tell me how you would rank them. I will go here. Yeah. Okay. This one. So one, two, three. Gotcha. So can't wait. Well, thank you. So cute. I think what we've decided, I think what we've decided to do is do the Louisiana along with the Punch Your Daddy for this one. But what we did definitely figure out, Louisiana and Old Bay would be amazing on some crabs. Some blue crabs would be so good. We kind of just did our our little dip test again and we mixed you know louisiana in the middle with punch it out on the left and then louisiana with old bay because we know that louisiana is definitely going in this crawfish we're also going to put some granulated garlic as well as fresh garlic whole bubs are, are ideal for this recipe but i only got three in lord knows it's not enough got some pineapples we're going to be using lemon juice instead of whole lemons because Lemon peels are nasty. Straight up. Onions and some salad. We're not putting bananas in it. It just happened to be up here. And actually a trick I got from my cousin, he said if you put a stick of butter in it, it helps you slip the, the crawfish tails out. And that's about the most country thing I ever heard, but I believe him because whenever I eat his boils, it's amazing. So we're gonna get started. So we're gonna take two of those. These are, um, these are the three ounce bags and we're just gonna drop it in there. That's gonna be the first part of our boil. We're just gonna let them soak in there for a little while. We use one cup of Louisiana and one cup of Punchy Daddy. That's a little bit more than a cup there. I'm gonna lay this in and you can see how unique some of these Cajun seasonings are. Cause look at that color, like you can tell exactly where Louisiana stops and punch your daddy starts. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and just add into a pot, you see them? That's just spice, straight spice. Then we add in some more. With a lot of Cajun cooking it, cooking a lot of it is, we gonna taste and see that the Lord is good type stuff. Now that our, wa our water is at least like starting to do what it's gonna do, we are gonna get the rest of our stuff ready. So one trick that my daddy told me about potatoes, especially in your boil, is that if you poke them, that's how all the seasoning gets all the way into it. So now we just over here poking potatoes, y'all. It's gonna be so good. So this is our Rona crawfish boil recipe. We got about a pound and a half of potatoes here. So if you see like crawfish boys, you see a lot of people put all of their, um, put whatever is going in at the same time in one bowl like this. I can put my corn in here as well. I got my corn here. Um, which 
y'all thinking, huh? Let me break the ears of corn in half. So we got eight pieces of corn that's gonna go in there. And like I said, that's gonna go in around the same time as the potatoes. So we'll put that all in the bowl. We got about six onions that we're gonna throw into the pot. They do not have to be peeled. Honestly, like the rotation of the boiling water is gonna peel the onions for us. It's gonna soak up that delicious flavor. It's gonna be so good, y'all. So good. So y'all, my cousin swears by putting a stick of butter into his boils and his boils are so, so, so good. So we are going to do what he does. I got one stick of salted sweet cream butter going in the pot y'all and she disappears <sighs> great y'all I also asked my husband if he wanted to taste my water I don't think he knew what I was talking about here is my Cajun boil water she mighty tasty y'all this would be a really good, like, Cajun chicken noodle soup broth. That sounds good. I should do that. Like some Cajun chicken noodle soup with some crawfish tails in it. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put the lid on top of my boil pot. We're just going to let it start to do this like roll and boil type of thing. And once it gets to that point, that means that those flavors are really starting to marry and break down all into one delicious pot. And I am so taste my water too. Excuse me. We're finally at a point of a rolling boil, y'all. We do need to wait till this part to really start beginning to add any of the food that you're actually intending on eating. Anything that's not your seasoning, like your onions and all that kind of stuff. So here we have our gorgeous man here. He is going to be dumping the corn and potatoes in for us. All right, y'all, it's time to take the goodies out and get the critters in. All right, babe, gonna put the crawfish in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. When we are done boiling them about seven minutes after you dunk them into that hot water. Once the water starts boiling again, about seven minutes, that should be all take. Next, you're going to layer in the crawfish here on the bottom, to about two inches at a time. And we just got some Creole seasoning here. We're just going to sprinkle it over the top of it. We're going to add some more crawfish, more seasoning, crawfish, more seasoning. Then we're going to top it off with a little bit of lemon juice. And we're going to close it and let it sip up all of that good stuff. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. And then we just gotta take the rest of our stuff that's been soaking. So all of the mushrooms, eggs, sausage, all that is still in the pot. We're just gonna throw it right on top. So how we do it back home in Cajun country. Normally you would see newspaper down on this table. We just opened up some garbage bags. And we just pour it all out.